ago, I stumbled upon this Medium article called So you want to generate license keys for old Microsoft products? And I was quite intrigued. Windows 95, 98 or even NT do still have their uses to this day, ranging from old school retro gaming computers to some businesses still using them because there's no need to change, of course. So how does the Windows setup check for valid keys? For non-OEM versions, the keys look like this. Starting from the left segment, its length is three digits. Those can be any number from 00002999. However, combinations such as 333 all the way up to 999 are invalid. The next segment is seven digits long. In this segment, all seven digits, when added together, must be divisible by seven. However, the last digit must never be a zero or eight and above. For OEM keys, it's not that different. This time though, the first segment is five digits long, with the first three digits representing a day and the rest a year. The first three digits can be anything from 001 to 366, because the algorithm just doesn't care. The other two digits can be anything from 03 up to 95. The second segment, after OEM of course, is much similar to the second segment of non-OEM keys, with just one difference. Instead of the last digit never being a zero, the first digit must always be a zero. No restrictions on the last digit here. The last segment can be anything. The OS just doesn't care, just a random five-digit number and you're all set, pretty much. So how do we code that? Of course, by just using import random. Easy. For non-OEM keys, we just simply generate a random three-digit number and reject it if it's one of the disallowed combinations. After that, we generate a six-digit random number and add a zero to the end. We then add all of the digits together to see if the remainder is a zero. If not, we retry. And pretty much, we generated a random but valid Windows serial key. For OEM keys, we start by generating a random number between 0 and 366. Afterwards, we generate a second number from 3 to 95. For the most complicated segment, we simply again generate a six-digit number and add a zero to the beginning. Add the numbers together, check for the remainder, and that's it. Lastly, just making a five-digit number without any restrictions, and bam, we have a valid OEM key. So everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you learned something new today. Thanks for watching.